Hi there, my name is Will Wright. I'm a freelance journalist and writer and paid speaker. You can find me at writeswords.com. That's W-R-I-G-H-T-S, W-O-R-D-S dot com. Now, when I was younger, I noticed that the vocal and outgoing folks were the ones who got the attention. Uh, they made things happen for themselves. I wasn't like that, but I wanted to be. So I decided that maybe my quietness wasn't going to cut it and that I'd better push myself and expand my comfort zones and boundaries. I'd better feel the fear and do it anyway and grow from having taken on that fear which was sometimes jarring. It seems that I'm not truly an extrovert even though when I joined Toastmasters years ago speaking in front of audiences didn't grip me in sheer terror or panic attacks. In fact, after a few years of speaking, I found myself uh, with enough confidence to make a craft point of performing from memory instead of relying on notes or a script. I relied on a lot of rehearsal. So I'm a fake extrovert because being an introvert is actually natural for me. But I pushed myself to be less anxious and less shy and more confident. I like TED Talks. They stir something in me. Uh, perhaps it's because there, there are some folks who are shy or introverted, but nonetheless perform these high-profile speeches. A recent literary reading that I chose to do at the Loft Literary Center actually reminded me of the excitement and terror of nerves that comes with telling stories to audiences. I enjoy telling you stories and opening your eyes. Susan Cain's book, Quiet, actually helped me to understand the complexities of being an introvert. But it was her TED Talk that actually introduced her to me. So, TED Talks. So when I'm not being a journalist, among the, the paid speeches I could do are to help unsure introverts find more confidence in, them, in themselves and a clearer or their clearer and truer voice so that, well, that they can find themselves feeling a fear but doing it anyway and growing from having taken that risk. Or if I'm not giving that speech, perhaps I'll speak to a firm about using a, a curated list of movies to help convince their employees that diversity, that racial diversity is something that affects everybody and can improve employee performance and a firm's culture because somebody once said that th that diversity is everyone's everyday work. Again, my name is Will Wright. I'm a freelance journalist and writer and paid speaker. You can find me at writeswords.com. That's W-R-I-G-H-T-S, W-O-R-D-S dot com. Thank you for having watched this, and if you dug it, please press dig or like on YouTube and share this amongst your friends. Thank you for your time. Goodbye. I mean, but the irony of having this double-edged sword of excitement and terror of nerves is it's a strange double-edged sword. It's like having uh, an angel on one shoulder and a devil on the other and you're not sure you know, which, is, which represents your true personality.